So today we're going to attempt our first inoculation on king spider or wine cap mushrooms and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first we chose our area. You want a nice shady area that's going to be shady for a majority of the year, especially throughout the summer, spring and fall months. Uh, once we chose our area, we laid down the cardboard very first uh, and surrounded that cardboard with logs that are anywhere from 6 to 12 inches. Uh, we have loads of logs laying around, so this is easy for us to find. Uh, and next, I'm going to wet the cardboard, uh, get it really nice and damp, and then put some spawn on top. Right, once you get your cardboard nice and saturated, uh, you want to sprinkle your first layer of your mushroom spawn on top of the cardboard. We have mushroom spawn from Mushroom Mountain in South Carolina. It's the first time we bought from them, but they seem to have uh, a pretty good following. Alright, so I just spread some hardwood chips on top of the mushroom spawn that I had laid out before. Uh, you you want to make sure you're using hardwood chips and not pine chips or anything like that. The, the wine caps do best in hardwood. Uh, and on top of this, I'm going to put a little bit more of our spawn. And after that, I will lay bits of cardboard that we have ripped up on top of that. That's going to be to help hold more moisture in the in the spawn itself and i forgot to mention i am wearing gloves while doing this you don't have to but it could help from getting any other fungus in with the mushroom spawn itself board on top of the spawn you want to make sure they're ripped up because you want to make sure water can flow somewhat freely between the layers uh, because keeping this moist for the first few weeks is going to be the key to the success of the of the spawn. And what we'll do after we put all this card a lot of this cardboard down is water it again because we want to ensure that moisture is staying in there throughout this whole process. So our two final steps in this process are going to be cover the cardboard that we laid down and watered uh, with another layer of mulch and the final bit of our sawdust spawn. And then on top of that I'm going to put some nice rich leaf matter uh, from some of our mulch piles that we have laying around uh, to really seal that all that in uh, and I'll cover it with a tarp at the very end to really hold in all the moisture and you don't want to cover it with a tarp for too long uh, but I'm gonna start at two weeks and go from there watering it probably every other day uh, just to ensure that moisture is held in there All right, so we laid some of the mulch on top of the cardboard and I'm about to lay a little bit more sawdust spawn on top of that. 
I, I put just a light dusting of mulch on top of the cardboard and then I'm going to put the spawn down and then a little bit more mulch on top of that. So we basically have a sandwich of the, of the spawn in between the two layers of mulch. Uh, that way the mycelium of the mushrooms can kind of grow quickly.